Okay, let's do some more factoring. Now, last time, we factored things that looked like this. Uh, give that one a shot. See if you can factor. Uh, something a little bit special is going to happen with this one. Well, if we do try to factor this, uh, we can make our brackets like we normally would. We know that we can't factor any monomials out of this trinomial. So we're going to have to factor it into two binomials that are multiplied by each other. Um, and the way that we do this is we say, all right, well, our first term has to be x squared. So our first two terms of our binomials have to multiply to x squared. The only nice way to do that is x and x. The last two terms of our two binomials are going to have to multiply to be positive 1. In this case, we only have two options. We have positive 1 times positive 1, or we could have negative 1 and negative 1. And we have to figure out if this can be factored. Uh, we have to figure out which one of these two possibilities will actually work. And so you might try the first one, x plus 1, x plus 1. You'll notice that this middle term doesn't come out right. So the correct way to factor this trinomial is with the negative 1 and the negative 1 option. We can check this, of course, just with a FOIL. Uh, multiply the first two terms, we get x squared. Multiply the outer two terms, we get a minus x. Multiply the two inner terms, we get a negative x. Multiply the last two terms, and you get a plus 1. Combine like terms, and you get x squared minus 2x plus 1. So that checks out. That's exactly what we wanted to factor. Uh, that's exactly what we wanted this thing to FOIL out. <clears throat> but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to erase this. We know that that's the correct factorization, but notice something. You'll notice that this term is the same as that term. Anytime you have two terms that are exactly the same multiplied by each other, you can rewrite it. This is an x minus 1 squared. Whenever you can factor something like this, and it comes down to what's called a perfect square, um, x squared minus 2x plus 1, this trinomial is called a perfect square trinomial. That's because when we factor it, we end up with a binomial squared. There's another case uh, of this special factorization. Uh, say we have something like x squared minus 9. And we'd like to factor this. This has a name too. It's called the difference of squares. It's called that because there's a minus sign that gives us a difference of two terms. And both of those two terms are perfect squares. x squared is the square of x, and 9 is the square of 3. Whenever you have a case like this, it's a difference of squares, uh, this can be factored like this. x minus 3 and x plus 3. Now this is a special case. Uh, we have a difference of squares. In this case, we have an x squared minus a 3 squared. Whenever you have that case, you can factor it into two binomials just like this. Now, again, this is a special case. Um, in general, the equation looks like this for a difference of squares. You have something squared minus something else squared. That's a difference of squares. It can always be factored into the first thing plus the second thing. I'm sorry, I'll do minus the second thing as a binomial times the quantity first thing plus the second thing. Just like that. So anytime you have a situation where you have one term squared, another term squared, and they're subtracted, uh, you can always factor it like